your first reaction? Come on. Anyway, you know we could really use your help with this ongoing case. We've been getting a lot of missing persons reports recently. Nobody ever saw those people assaulted or anything. They just vanished. Some of those people are even resonators, or they've served in the military. Since you're always coming and going from the city, can you help me watch out for anything weird or suspicious? Thank you so much. No, I could count on you. Ring me up when you spot anything sus, yeah? <laughs> Laters. The Seance Society. Never heard of them before. They said they have a solution, but how? This is very suspicious. No matter how I look at it, guess I'll just go and see for myself. Good. There's no time to waste. <sighs> oh. So you've accepted my invitation, Rover. Well, yes. My name is Laurent. Since you were here, you must have lost someone too. Yuan Yuan, no need to be afraid. She's not one of those evil patrollers. You're safe with me. Yes, my daughter. Her name is Yuan Yuan. My only precious. I am Daddy's precious? Absolutely, my dear. We will stay together. Nothing can take you from me again. Ah, uh, yes. Once, we were separated by an unfortunate turn of events. But now I have her back, thanks to the Seon Society's help. Truly a miracle, is it not? And you, yes, you too can be reunited with your loved ones. Just come join us. No, she didn't. She was never gone. Can't you see? Yuan Yuan, she... She's still alive. Alive and well. Daddy, what's happening? You're scaring me. He seems off. Is he overclocking? No. No, Doctor. I don't need anything. I am not leaving her. You're not leaving Daddy, right? Yuan Yuan? Uh, I... off her now! No! Daddy! That's enough, Lorong. <sighs> She'll be safe in my care. You still have other things to do, remember? <sighs> no! Don't! Yuan Yuan! Lorong, do you want to lose your daughter again? <sighs> no. Fine. I'll leave it to you. Now hand over the girl. You see, that man is her father. Why do you want to separate them? Oh, well, whatever. Wen Wen, come over here, please. Yes. Good girl. Stay here, Wen Wen. Why would you be concerned? Smart girls know how to mind their own business. Oh, you're quite the fighter. Hmm. How about... Shh, they're coming. It's the patrollers. We can't let them find out about Wan Wan. Now, if you don't want to get into trouble, better do as I say. I'll explain everything later. Including what's happening with the Seance Society. Smart choice. Good. Now come give me a hand. We'll need to hide the traces of fighting here.
everything's back to where they were before. Found a piece of paper inside one of the boxes. Seems like a transaction record. Date of transaction. It says today. Items. Four reincarnation puppets. What are those? Signy Lerong. Probably forgot to take it with him. That should do the trick. This should be good enough to get past their eyes. some commotion coming from this area. What's going on? Nothing, officer. We were just hanging out. Really? Then what was that loud banging and shouting? Oh, this girl just tripped over. Poor thing nearly cried her eyes out. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Is that so? Then what did you do after that? It seems she can't find her father. We were just trying to help. Right, Rother? I see. So they're just being kind. I don't have other questions. You can... Leave the girl to us. We'll help find her father. Thanks, but we've got this. Little one seems quite shy. She's just warming up to us. Wouldn't want to bother you further. Don't worry. You're not bothering us. It's our job to help civilians in need. Trust me, I understand how tedious a patroller's job can get. That's why I want to help. My name's Yinglin. I'm also a patroller. Here's my ID. Oh, a fellow patrol? You sure this is real? Never seen her around. You think I can't tell a fake ID when I see it? Shut your mouth. No reason you would have seen me. I don't work here. Just visiting Jinjo on vacation. Ah, makes sense. Then we'll leave the girl to you. Thank you for your help. If you can't find your dad, bring her to the patroller station. Come on, we're going, rookie. Enjoy your day. Have fun in Jinjo. Oh, hey, uh, wait up, Captain. Hmm. Do I not look the part? I didn't plan to blow my cover, but that patroller was sharp. I would have risked them finding out about Wanwan otherwise. You should see for yourself. Let your soul rest. Return to your true form, daughter of Lorong, Wen Wen. Yes, a puppet to be exact. This helpless little girl before you, Lorong's beloved daughter, is nothing but a humanoid robot. called Seon Society. They're the ones behind Jinjo's recent missing person cases. They offer these puppets to people who have lost their loved ones. These puppets can perfectly replicate the personalities of the deceased. To those mourning people, they're indistinguishable from the living. Yes. With the puppet, she has been resurrected by her father's longing. People gave up everything to join this society for one chance to reunite with their beloved. As for how they got their hands on these puppets, I have no idea yet. Beware. The puppets may seem harmless, but those you got too attached are much more likely to overclock. Lorong's the recruiter. You're the perfect outsider. Traveling all alone, ripe for the taking. <laughs> but it seems he picked the worst candidate possible. I need 
need to apprehend the true culprit behind this group. But this is not your problem. I'm on a mission. Leave now and forget everything that happened here today, will you? Larong's transaction record. Where did you find it? Oh, you're such a box of surprises. Sure, why not? I'll give you what you want. But I don't want prying eyes. If you're really that curious, meet me outside the city at these coordinates. seems safe enough. So, any questions for me? <laughs> Didn't know you cared so much about me. This is supposed to be confidential, but I've been authorized to make my own calls. My orders were clear. Infiltrate the Seance Society, gather evidence of their crimes, and find the culprit behind it all. So far, I've had no luck meeting any of their higher-ups. Just playing a system for Lorong to gain their trust. So, any questions for me? They operate under the guise of a non-profit charity. The Seance Society lures people in with their promise of bringing back their loved ones. But it's all a sham. You've seen firsthand the truth behind their supposed resurrection. Despite previously keeping a low profile, they've recently become more active and are using people like Le From what I've gathered, they're in cahoots with Fraxidus. And a Fraxidus intervention would have only made things worse. So, any questions? Lorong, once a Midnight Ranger, lost his daughter in a tragic accident. He joined the Society to see his daughter again, and he's been feverishly trying to convince others to do the same. He truly believes the puppets are living miracles, a godsend means of redemption. He could have been a good father, but his obsession with losing his daughter consumed him. So, any questions? Aside from recruiting new people in Jinzhou, Lorong and I were given another task. See the transaction record in your hands? Some Fraxidus members ordered a batch of puppets from the Society. We're in charge of handling the deal. Not until their collaboration started. The Fraxidus had been demanding prototype puppets regularly. I planned to investigate these prototype puppets for manufacturer clues. But Lorong keeps things very tight. He never takes me to his storage place. It's almost time for the deal. I need to bring Wen Wen back to Larong before he gets suspicious. With the Fraxidus in play, things could go south very fast. Now you know the nitty gritty details. It's still not too late to call it quits. You don't seem to be mourning someone. Why the interest? You've suffered a memory loss. I see. Indeed, if they can make such lifelike puppets by tapping into people's memories, perhaps they could help you remember, too. But we need to find them first. You can be my civilian investigator. What do you say? Larong and I are about to meet the Fraxidus for our deal. He will then leave to get the puppets at the storage house. I will need you to follow him and send me the coordinates once you're there. And you're in already? Didn't even think twice. Oh, well, you seem really confident, and that's a good thing. They're coming. You'll hide and watch Larong. I'll bring Wen Wen to him. Hopefully he won't suspect. Rise and shine, Wen Wen. Miss Yunlin, wh where am I? Where's Daddy? Don't worry, Wen Wen. I'm taking you to Daddy in just a moment. But before we do, promise me you'll be a good girl, okay? Okay. I promise. That's my girl. Let's go. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Good. There's no time to waste. Lerong, 
Here's your daughter, as I promised. Yuan Yuan! I was so afraid. I can't bear to lose you again. Please don't cry, Daddy. Was I being bad? No. You're always a good girl. Always. Uh, enough with the make-believe. That's a puppet. Yuan Yuan, I... Wen Wen's ten times more human than you people. You call that thing human? <laughs> That's just a robot lab rat. <laughs> Enough. We don't have time for this. Where's our stuff? Bring them out. Lorong, go bring them the prototype puppets. <laughs> I've... Hey, we ain't gone all day. Hurry up. No! I won't let you have them! We'll make you regret this. After him! You're going nowhere either, Missy. Here we go. Larong's trying to escape with the puppets. Here's hoping that Rover can stop him in time. Find us here. Those scary people. Are they coming after me? Not just you, Yuan Yuan. They want all the puppets here. But I won't let them. I'll make sure every puppet finds home, together with people who love and need them. I will not let those freaks use them for experiments, Master Dollmaker. How could you be the first to betray our belief? Dollmaker? Is that the leader of the Seance Society? Is Master Dollmaker bad, Daddy? I... I'm not sure anymore. He was our hope. He saved us all, but... <laughs> Doesn't matter now. I must get you all to safety first. I guess they still have some morals. There's still things they won't do. I spotted them! Over there! You can't hide from this good old sniffer of mine. You on, you on? Get behind Daddy, quick. I'll grab these puppets now. What about that guy, boss? Ice him. We'll take that puppet behind him, too. Huh? I will not let you die! Lorong's going to severely overclock at this rate. Oh, oh, oh. not gonna make a difference. Get rid of them, now. Forgetting someone, are we? What the? Those idiots! They were supposed to take care of you! Careful. Sorry I knocked out your friends earlier. We're not planning to start anything with the Fraxidus, really. What do you say? Care to give Lurong and his daughter a little break? There are people, after all. You may have these puppets here. 
We can pretend none of this ever happened. You think we're stupid or what? We're taking the puppets, and you're all going under. Oh, you sure you want to do this? We're business partners, remember? Partners? You're just a bunch of lab rat keepers trying to play the game! So they're not up for peace talks. What do you say, Rover? <laughs> True. You know your Fraxidus well. You've got some moves. Impressive. Guess I can rely on you a bit more. I'll be counting on you. How did you like the fight? Are you injured? Those were the Fraxidus and you didn't bat an eye. Looks like you've got the skills and the nerve too. We took care of him for now, but there's probably more trouble coming our way. My, my, are you worried about me? What a surprise. I thought you never trusted me this entire time. Fine, I'll spare you the teasing for now. Your serious face is quite cute though. Don't worry. We took care of all the Fraxidus people here. If the society becomes suspicious, I'll just pin everything on them. They may still question me, but I've mastered gaining trust with lies. It's the key to being an undercover investigator. Just like what I did to you. Try feeling your back. A bug and a tracker. How else do you think I got here so quickly? I put it there the first time we met. Don't trust anyone. That's the first thing I learned in training. You may not belong to any group, but you seem to care for Larong and Yuan Yuan, and you want to recover lost memories. I can't risk you betraying me by helping them run off or selling me out. Better safe than sorry. Of course, Dollmaker. He must be a big deal in the Seance Society, or even their leader. We're getting close to the truth, but we have another issue at hand. I did a quick checkup on Larong. He just passed out from overclocking. Lucky for him, it wasn't that bad. Yuan Yuan returned to her puppet form once Larong fell unconscious. Not even I can reactivate her now. I doubt she'll be reactivated anytime soon. We've reached a dead end with Larong. Yeah, I was planning to. We may find some clues. But we gotta move first. Can't stay here for long. Go collect the puppets. I'll look after Larong and Yuan Yuan. There's no time to waste.
designated meetup spot. There will be wolf-shaped markings nearby to show us the way. Let's move. Can't let the Fraxidus find us. We should be good in here. This safe house is equipped with signal jammers and counter surveillance measures. The Fraxidus won't find us here. It's as safe and secure as it gets. Nothing gets in and nothing gets out. so far. I should find out where this place is first. I was trapped inside this box. It's easier to open now that I broke it. There's something between the cracks. A tablet with an encrypted transmitter. Messages sent through these are less traceable, I've heard. But why would I find it here? The Seance Society name list? Some of the names have been crossed. These are probably the Seance Society members. The people. Am I in their base of operation? I guess that's all the clues. Anyway, this place is definitely connected to the Society. I should use it to inform Shisha and the others of my situation and my current coordinates.
done. Here's hoping they'll get my message. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh, you're awake. Come out then. Look at you, fresh as the dew. I went with maximum voltage back there. Didn't expect you'd wake up so soon. Thought you might never wake up again. I was gonna get Dr. Wu Sheng to check on you. I have no interest in taking your life. Master Dollmaker wants to see you alive. Why, you insolent little whippersnapper. Show some manners when you're talking to Miss Yinlin. Where is your family? Youngsters like you. Always running off and leaving your family to rot. It's family reunion day. Ain't no way I'm letting anyone leave this camp. Go sit down next to the bonfire and stay there. Don't you be thinking of slipping off? Miss Yinlin, show them the way. You heard the kind lady. Now keep your mouth shut and follow me. You can try to escape. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Without Dr. Wu Sheng's antidote, you wouldn't make it too far with that poison inside you. It's all up to you. Just now I have no reason to lie. You were planning to ask Master Dollmaker about your memories anyway, so why not come with me? It's the Seon Society's headquarters. We all live here. Why don't you just join the society? Make things easier for all of us. Good try. Try not to sound so obvious next time. Come on. Joining or not, it won't hurt to introduce yourself first. There's no time to waste. Greetings, stranger. The name's Jin Lu. We're the guards here, Her Chang and I. Right you are. The two of us and Lirong used to be Midnight Rangers. How are you feeling? Got the overclocking under control? Well, thanks for asking, Miss Yinlin. I'm feeling a lot better now. Lirong, though? He, uh, he had it rough back there. We served in the same unit. Her Chang overclocked, trying to save me. In the end, he didn't make it. I know the risks. I'm just... I'll do anything. Anything to make it up to him. If I still can. Staying with us puppets will make my hubby sick eventually. I just want to stay with him while I can. Yes. Maybe we are causing harm by simply existing. But I wouldn't trade what I have now for anything else. Dr. Wu Sheng, how's Lerong doing? Out of danger for now, but he's still in a coma. Sorry, I'm not that familiar with taking care of resonators. There's not much else I can do. Shame. He shouldn't have disobeyed Master Dollmaker. Well, yes. Master Dollmaker asked me to. We had no other choice. You refused to join us. No. Why would I need to? They're not leaving here. This is the only place where we can forever live with our loved ones. I 
I do, but I also know I will hold on to them no matter what. Doctors can't save everyone. Not even the best of us can. I can only watch as my better half passed away in agony. Master Dollmaker saved us with his puppets. That's something no doctor can ever achieve. What about you? Do you have someone you desperately need to see again? You can ask Master Dollmaker for help. He'll bring them back. Master Dollmaker's guest. I see, whatever. I just want to stay with my son. So what? He's still my one and only son. What would you know? Rover, let's stop it here. I won't let anyone threaten our peaceful life ever again. I just remembered there's another place we need to visit. Come with me. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Not yet, at least. You there! You're not one of us. How did you sneak in here? Chusha, are you injured? Miss Yinlin! You're back! Easy there. You need to rest. This is Master Dollmaker's guest. You're safe with her. It is my duty to protect our people. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Ah. No more duties if you die from those wounds. We no longer need you to protect this place, remember? But Master Dollmaker, he... He told me to protect this place at all cost. That won't be necessary. Master Dollmaker's not coming back. I'll be getting rid of everything here. Master Dollmaker's ultimate goal is near, and he won't need them anymore. Neither will I. But... Enough. You heard what I said. Stay put. I'll go fetch some first aid for you. somewhere safe to rest. You're relieved of your duties. But, Miss Yinlin... We're burning it all. Stand back. I'll use my thunder to start up a fire. No trace will be left. Oh, so you've read what's written inside. You seem to enjoy meddling in other people's business. 
On second thought, the past can't be erased any. Burning these makes no difference, and the flames could attract tacit discords. Still, Chusha, you should leave this place. We don't need you to protect these anymore. What if those monsters come at us again? We'll have no one to stop them. Your safety matters far more than these objects of the past. If you're okay, go help those who aren't. Understood. Good. There's no time to waste. You've talked with everyone I see. Are you joining us now? They're just some poor souls longing to see their loved ones again. Master Dollmaker saves them, letting them make amends for their past regrets. A noble cause, is it not? <laughs> How is it betrayal when we were never a team? Having a cop on our side makes things easier for the Seance Society, don't you agree? I was just a young orphan, never knew who my parents were. Master Dollmaker took me in. He taught me combat, puppetry, temperance, and how to become a patroller. I owe my life to him. Yes, his eyes are set on another ultimate goal. We're all his subjects. He needs us to complete the last two puppets. Every one of us has been aware of this, but still decided to join. That's not for your ears. Members only, you see. But I do admit you're not like the others. You rescued Larong and showed respect to the puppets. They weren't just objects to you, I could tell. Look at you, ever so righteous. Maybe you're better suited to be a patroller than me. Kindness. <laughs> or maybe I couldn't just stand by either. That's up to you. Trust is a delicate thing. You must follow your instincts and decide how much you're willing to give. Enough chatter for now. I'll take you to Master Dollmaker's pl- Help! Help! What's going on? Miss Yindlin, the tacit discords are here! Go tell your grandma. Get everyone somewhere safe. Oh, okay! What about you, Rover? Will you join them? Or flee while you can in this chaos. So you want to help protect them? Knew it. Everything, huh? The secrets I hold might be bigger than you imagine. If you really want to know, you'll need to survive this first. Anywhere. 
I've got a hostage, you see. Whoa! You... you... don't move! I wouldn't try anything stupid if I were you. Can't risk the VIP of Jinjo getting hurt now, can we? guys. TDs found their way inside and we're now surrounded by a bunch of cops. Hard to make it out of here with the specimens. Fortunately, you caught that rover. Whether she's useful for research or not, holding her hostage will buy us some time. What should I do next, Master? Here's the coordinates. Bring her to me in the inner chamber. She's a sly one, ready to bolt at any moment. I have trackers planted on her. She's not going anywhere in our territory. We'll talk once you get there. You heard him. You're in our turf. Better not get any bright ideas. Well, that's not your problem. Also, no one's coming to your rescue anytime soon. I guess you managed to send out a distress call. Somehow it slipped past us. Ah, you had an encrypted transmitter tablet. Hand it over. Don't try to deceive me. Funny, you think you have a choice. test subject. I don't want to make things difficult for you unless you force my hands. Got it? Here's the thing. Dollmaker's listening to our every word. All my efforts will be wasted if he suspects anything. I'll be typing on this tablet for you to see. I want you to follow my instructions. Very well. If you can refrain from unnecessary struggle, we won't have to do things the hard way. You don't need to know. Now get moving. We're in the factory where the dollmaker makes his puppets. This place is full of traps and his minions. Very dangerous. <sighs> Patience. You'll know once you see him. Dollmaker's in bed with the Fraxidus, trading overclock-inducing puppets for resources and funds. I need your help to collect proof of his crimes. No more wasting time. Let's go. I'll take off your restraints on the way. I need you to pretend you're still bound, remember? There's no time to waste. Strange. The Strange. The path is blocked. That thing should open it back up. I'll handle it. No 
mercy. You guarding this place for Master Dollmaker? <coughs> Out of my way. Master Dollmaker asked for this person. Family! My family! <sighs> They're overclocking. Must have been exposed to those puppets for too long. The bunch of cops that just attacked us pushed them over the edge. should be able to get under it. Good. There's no time to waste. ones will fall right into our lap. There's no time to waste.
against wind. Exiles can't reach us now. Master Dollmaker's chamber is right up ahead. Don't die on me now. So many prototype puppets. How many secrets does this factory hold? Here, record the physical status of these puppets. Master needs to know for his research. These are his prize achievements. We need photos of them to prove what he's been up to. Hmm. <laughs> That's more like it. Remember to capture every detail. I'll be watching you. grade mechs. How did they get their hands on these?
That's the total number of prototype puppets. Imagine what would happen if they were all activated at once. All puppets are powered by these metal canisters. That's why non-resonators can activate the puppets. Intruder! Kill her! They can't even recognize me now. Plan? We take them out, of course. We can't stay here too long. Make it quick. There's no time to waste. <sighs> Yin Lin, you made it. Have those cops entered the factory? Not yet. But those exiles were overclocking, and I had to take them down. It's fine. They're disposable. They're a bunch of outcasts, willing to do whatever it takes to survive. No one would mourn them if they died. Oh? Me? I could save them, I'm sure. But who's going to save me? would not consent to being brought back as puppets. Yin Lin, I thought at least you would understand me. I don't blame you. You were too young when they passed away, after all. You hardly remember them. And that's why I couldn't revive them from your memories. Nor from my own, either. This is where you come in, Rover. You're a godsend, a gift from above. Precisely. With help from the Fraxidus plus your body's data, I will finally create their puppets. Dollmaker, you... I was an outcast, alone and shunned, until my mentor and his wife took me in. They were my true family. I'll do anything to bring them back, no matter the price. So what? Why should I care? It's almost time. We'll have to leave the factory behind, but there's a couple of prototypes I need to bring. My identity must stay hidden. Use explosives to stop them if necessary, Yin Lin. But our people are still inside the factory. Our people? There's only the two of us. The rest of them are not worth my concern. 
What about Rover? Same as before, Yin Lin. Just knock her out. No need to keep him intact this time. Some level of basic consciousness is enough. The Fraxid has taught me methods to operate on a body like that. I'll leave two puppets here to pretend we're still holding her hostage behind the closed door. We'll need the data repository, too. Yes, my research data. That's more valuable than my life. I'll take care of the data transfer. Yin Lin, you deal with this person. Be quick. Doing. It all ends here, Dollmaker. You're going nowhere. You of all people should know why the Fraxidus offered their help. And then, you... How dare you betray me? I have never forgotten who I am. My bloodline is one of Jinjo's patrollers. I will always uphold my duty. Just like my parents before me. They fought to the last minute of their lives, trying to save the innocent. Everything I've done, I did it for them! No, you did it to relive the kindness you once felt. But my parents are gone. So are everyone else's loved ones. It's time we wake up from this dream you've been spinning. No, don't you dare! Those people don't look right. They've all overclocked. Projectors. This is what the factory really looks like. This thing, the Fraxidus. You got this from them in exchange for being their pawn? Me? Their pawn? Ha! I'm the one pulling their strings, sweetheart! Dollmaker. Surrender now. Shinlin! <laughs> How could you do this to me? I created this home for my followers. They found salvation through my puppets. I am their savior! You too, Yinlin! You had the chance to reunite with your family! Why are you doing this to me? met my parents, but my actions are guided by their beliefs. As a child, I bemoaned my misfortune, but I knew better than to harm others to make up for it. The dead deserve peace. My parents are gone, and I can't change the past. The presence is mine to control. I can still bring justice to those who caused their untimely end. What's wrong with doing what I can for our happiness? Laws and principles are just tools for those in charge. Is that why you must deprave others of their happiness? Using them as your pawns? <laughs> Suddenly. 
heavenly justice matters to you. Don't tell me you still think you're a patroller. I already wiped your data from their records. No one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. Yes, they may never allow me back. Doesn't matter now. It's a small price to pay to stop you and the greater evil you serve. I don't need a recognized identity to do what's right. I can do it my way. You... Uh, I should get going. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Please, keep it secret from the patrollers until it's all over. One day, I'll tell them everything myself. Next time we meet, I'll explain all. And I'll thank you properly, I guess. Quick, over there! civilians back to Jinzhou for medicals. They weren't super excited to leave for some reason. They didn't want to be separated from those puppets no matter what. There was really not much we could do about it. Oh, where's that woman who kidnapped you? <gasps> Don't tell me she's already gone. Quick, we're going after her. She's a slippery one. Unlikely we can track her down. Also, something about her seems... not so evil? No, can't make assumptions. She's still a suspect. We'll table that for now. Rover, you're a crucial witness. Please come to the Bureau for a statement when you can. I'll see you there. society was up to. Thanks for your statement, it really helped. Somehow the Fraxidus was involved too. Who would have thought? Luckily, you were there to stop them in time. The man's still not saying anything. Guess we'll have to keep him in custody for now. Nothing about that suspect lady either. We still have zero info on her. Oh, so the missing cases led us to an illegal cult-like organization and a bunch of other twisted plans. Unbelievable. We'd be toast without your help. Huh? And who's that? What? Come on, you need to be more specific. Uh, whoever they are, sounds like they'll make for quite the patroller. Well, that's it for now. Ring me up when you find something unusual again. I'll catch you later. A letter without a signature. It can only lead to one thing, Yin Lin. She's waiting for me. Hey, Rover! Ring me up when you find something unusual again. Yeah, I heard they'd hide. Doesn't sound like something I could...
Splendid view, right? As promised, I owe you a lot of explanation. No, I wasn't expecting to meet you. My order was to oversee our deal with the Fraxidus. You were just a pawn in my plan to find where Lorong kept the puppets. But I didn't expect him to try and escape with them. Couldn't risk exposing myself yet, so I had to track him down and retrieve the puppets. Around that time, Dollmaker caught wind of your special abilities. He asked me to bring you to that safe house. for the best effect. Was that just a zap to you? No wonder our doll maker took so much interest in that body of yours. Unfortunately, no. He tried but couldn't gain access. According to him, you possess a power beyond his understanding that prevented him from prying into your mind. You might be more special than you had thought. Said he couldn't read your mind without risking his own sanity, let alone retrieve any information. I can't imagine what the hell is going on beneath your skull. Who knows? Maybe you helped some strangers again only to mess with the wrong person and ended up with your memories gone. I say you should stop playing hero and take better care of yourself. You'll live longer that way. Don't think I need to, since you can handle yourself just fine. But if you ever need my help, just let me know. We have a lot in common, both alone in this world. Maybe I'll keep you in my thoughts. A reminder that I'm not the only solitary soul out there. And eventually, we'll both learn to move through our lives with loneliness. Perhaps the same loneliness was too much for Dollmaker to bear. That's why he gave up everything to resurrect my parents. Yes, after my parents' death, we all became chess pieces to him, myself included. Raised me to be a patroller for his own agenda. He needed a mole in the Public Security Bureau. In the end, I did become a patroller, but failed to stay by his side as he desired. Maybe I'm indeed a heart-wrenching betrayer to him. Yes, we all have to face the consequences of our actions. I don't plan to defend him. But if I had acted sooner, this whole mess could have been avoided. Why didn't I do something? Perhaps, like everyone else in the Seance Society, I too held on to that naive pipe dream. The dream of finally meeting my parents and having a real family. I indulged in it more than I care to admit. Deep down, I knew my dream was built upon the sacrifices of innocent lives, but I couldn't bear to shatter it. <laughs> because I met you, a total outsider risking her life for me and for all those people. A lot of it still remains unresolved. Dollmaker was merely a cog in the wheel. A bigger shadow lingers. Yes, we must stay vigilant until we expose the true culprits and destroy their plans for good. Don't tell me you're pulling out at this point. If you are, I may have to wipe my true identity from your head by force. It was a joke. Anyway, I should thank you. Because of you, I was able to accomplish far more, and save many more lives than I imagined. You feel different. I have the feeling I can always trust your words, whatever you say. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, take a guess. Oh, and lastly, there is another thing I should thank you for. For trusting me all the way till the very end. Until we meet again, Rover. Perhaps I'll meet you under an entirely different identity next time.